Chuck here with Electric Scooter Guide and today we've got the newest affordable and portable scooter from Apollo, the Ghost. We're gonna check out the first looks from Trina, Paul, Richie, Raymir, and myself. All right, let's see. We got the Apollo Ghost here. Woo! Pretty smooth. Ooh, I like the suspension. It's nice and springy. Overall, it feels really solid and comfortable. I'm, it's, it's got a little bit of stem flex. I just got done riding the Apollo Ghost and I was surprised by all of the amazing portability features. You know, it wasn't what I was expecting from the Ghost at all. Like those were just surprises. I was expecting there to be nice acceleration, smooth braking, and, and it definitely has those. I really like that the deck is nice and long and wide so you have a lot of space to stand on. The weight also is not too heavy for me to, to carry and possibly use this as a last mile commuter. I think it's got some go. Whoa. 800 watts, two motors. Oh, I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this thing scoots. Kind of nice having the power to get out and play in traffic. Suspension's pretty nice. Feels uh, pretty good side to side. <laughs> This thing's a beast. I, uh, I'm very surprised at how much go it has. Motor-wise and brakes-wise, it's something else. It's got tons of brake as much as you could want, uh, even though they're mechanical uh, disc brakes. It's got a decent suspension, decent amount of spring to it. Uh, I did have to fiddle with the steering a little bit. When it arrived, it was a little bit notchy. I did a quick adjustment and now it feels great. Uh, I really enjoyed this scooter and as always, I'm looking forward to testing it. Right, this is a slight hill. Hey, this is getting me up that hill very nice. I don't want to go on yellow. I think there's a copper right there, too. Oh. That was quick to hit 30. All right. Honestly, it feels pretty stable to me. At the fast speeds, I'm hitting like 30 right now. You know what? This makes me want to drive faster. I'm usually not the biggest fan of going super fast. So, you know, I, I wasn't too excited to ride this thing. It's like, all right, another dual motor scooter or whatever. You know, it actually surprised me. The reasons why I usually don't like to ride fast speeds is because scooters are usually pretty unstable. I was surprised how stable it was. We, there was no wheel wobble at all. It felt good. It made me want to go fast. Nice. Okay, smooth. I got a car behind me. You probably don't want to be stuck behind me. But little does he know, I'm about to go to speed right now. Let's see. Oh yeah. This is a slight gray going uphill. Yeah, being a big dog going uphill, it got me up to like 30 miles per hour. That's pretty cool. Apollo Ghost. I'm here to say I like it already. First impressions, my first ride. Speed is nice. It's not that head jerkiness of most dual motors. It eases you right into it and it gets up to speed. You know, this one feels stable. Great entry for dual motor scooters. Nice price, 1400 bucks. I don't think you can beat it. Like scooters that are dual motor around this price, they kind of lack on the fit and finish. Like it, sometimes they feel cheap, but this one, it feels solid. Oh, we don't need this at one. We're going to three. I like the acceleration, it's kind of, oh, it's fast, it's actually fast. I do like the ride, and that feels, um, you know, going straight, it feels good. Got this. It definitely wants to go straight, it doesn't want to turn. Apollo kind of did it again. This is a legit dual motor scooter. It is fast. The suspension is possibly one of my new favorites. And the, the other kind of big story here is that it actually is one of the most portable dual motor scooters 
out there because it has the folding handlebars and the stem locks into the deck. It is the first real dual motor legit scooter at $1,400. I don't wanna say that Apollo changed the game again, but they kinda just did.